Well, hello, hello again. And how are you guys doing today? I'm super excited, really pumped up to be with you guys tonight to talk about a topic that is one of my very favorite topics to teach on. Um, but first, let me give you a quick introduction. So my name is Charla Snow, and I am a diamond with doTERRA. I have been using and educating people on how to use essential oils safely and effectively for the past eight years. I'm a mom of four. We use essential oils in our home every day and in every way. And um, I am very passionate about educating and empowering others to be able to become a healer in their own home and to be able to utilize the gifts from Mother Nature to be able to heal physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, what we do here every week is we have a different topic. And the topic that we are on today is going to be body systems. So just so you to give you a little background, if you're new to joining our calls, um, first of all, welcome. And thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to to be with us today. Um, we've already completed classes one through five, and if you've missed those, not to worry, we will repeat these classes again, and they don't necessarily build on each other, so you can hop in at any point in the series, and they will repeat. We also have recordings that you can go back and binge watch them if you really want to, um, but today we are going to be on class number six, body systems. And the reason why I love this particular class is because I think it's so fun to see how the essential oils are so interconnected in the different body systems. You know, our digestive system, our skeletal system, our nervous system, our emotional system. But mostly I find it to be a really great gateway to helping people see that there are so many different, almost endless possibilities when it comes to finding solutions. Um, we kind of get into a, um, a set way of doing things where we know if we've had, we need respiratory support and there's something going on with our lungs or airways, we go to maybe the breathe blend, but maybe our knowledge of other oils that are out there maybe is a little bit limited because that's all we know. And as we start to learn more about the science of essential oils, which is coming up in two weeks, as we start to learn more about the body systems, we start to realize there are so many different possibilities. So if you're, if you're in need of respiratory support and you don't have your breathe oil with you, you might realize, gosh, I do have frankincense or eucalyptus, or I do have cardamom or arbor vitae, or I have all of these other options available to me. Um, and so as you start to see how the oils are interconnected and start to see that there's so many possibilities, I think it opens up a whole new world of essential oil usage. And so that's why I, I really love this topic. So again, we're going to be going into body systems today. And, um, and we're going to be focusing for the purposes of this class, we're going to be narrowing it down to seven different body systems, excretory, respiratory, circulatory, nervous, skeletal, glandular, and digestive. So that's how I'm grouping it and organizing it for the context of today's lesson. I realize that's not everything. Um, I've left out emotional system. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to weave that into every other body system that we discussed today. And I think the first thing that's important to note is that while we are talking about essential oil usage for one body system, it's important to realize that essential oils are super complex and that one oil can support multiple different systems simultaneously. And so this is why you'll see frankincense show up on multiple different body systems on the chart that I'm going to show you in just a minute. Um, so one oil can, because it has so many different, sometimes hundreds of different compounds in it. Again, we're going to get into this when we talk about essential science in two weeks, but it, it can, because it has so many different constituents, it can actually reach out and encompass many different body systems. So let's just briefly touch, um, let me show you this chart first, and then we'll touch on each of the body systems. So this chart I'm going to make available to you at the end of um, at the end today, I'm going to give you a link. You'll want to grab a pen and paper so that you can jot down this link or maybe take a screenshot of it so that you can have 
um, access to come back to this chart at the end. But as you can see here, I've actually grouped it slightly different so that you have the emotional um, system included in here. But each uh, body system is represented along with the single oils and the blends that can support that specific body system. So you guys will have access to this at the end of the call. So again, we're going to touch on in, um, seven body systems tonight. We're going to touch on the excretory system, which for the purposes of our class is going to encompasses the, encompass the skin, kidneys, and bladder. We're going to also touch on the respiratory system, including the lungs, airways, and diaphragm. We're going to touch on the um, circulatory system, which includes the heart, arteries, vessels, blood, spleen, lymph vessels, and lymph nodes. We're also going to touch on the nervous system, which will include the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Um, we're going to also discuss the skeletal system, bones, muscles, connective tissue. We're going to get into a little bit of the glandular system, encompassing the hormones, adrenals, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pituitary, penile, ovaries, and testes. We're going to get into that. And um, lastly, we're going to discuss the digestive system, including the stomach, large and small intestine, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. And again, the reason why, I just to reiterate, the reason why this is so great to study it this way is because if you know, you may not specifically know that a, 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 what a specific ail, what oil will help a specific ailment or a problem that you might be encountering. But if you know which body system that that problem is associated with, then you'll have it be able to narrow down uh, which essential oils could potentially support that specific problem. All right. So the cool thing we're going to be doing next week, though, just to make a note so you guys are making, make sure that you mark your calendar for next week is that you're going to be learning a systematic approach to applying essential oils in order to help balance all of our body systems. It's a technique called the Aroma Touch technique. It's an um, it's an application of essential oils to the spine, to the bottoms of the feet, and the visceral um, reflex points in the body. That is a way to use eight different essential oils in this specific um, systematic approach to be able to affect every one of these body systems, which is also such an invaluable tool if you're not sure what to do. You can do the Aroma Touch technique and know that it's going to help. Um, tremendously. So that will be next week. So right now what we're going to do is we are going to play a little game of Clue and we have um, seven mysteries that need to be solved. So when our body is not performing at its optimal level, we need to figure out which body part it is that needs to be supported. So it's a, like playing a little bit of clue with our own body. And we have some mysteries to solve today. And I'm going to read through some clues and you get to kind of identify. Hopefully you were just listening when I talked about the different body systems. But you'll get to identify which body system needs supporting. And then once that system, once we've identified what that system is, then we're going to discuss a couple of oils that might help to support that system. All right? Make sense? So here we go. The first mystery clue is... Um, this system, this commun this is, um, communication between body systems. It is integration, control, and recognition of sensory stimuli. So again, you're trying to guess what body system we're talking about right now. Also cognitive, creative thinking, memory, reasoning, problem solving is also done by this body system. So what is it? It is, you guessed it, it is the nervous system. So the nervous system is going to include the, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. And let me just give you a couple of suggested essential oils. Now again, as you look at that chart that I, you, I'll have available for you to download at the end tonight, you'll see that there's more than just these three. And but what these three oils that are on your screen right now are providing, it's, it's to give you a beginning to aromatherapy. So if you're new and you're just starting out, you need a starting point for how to use the oils for personal use and to be able to um, play your own game of clue and to analyze what essential oils. So are these the only three oils that can support the nervous system? No, and that's why we've got a chart for you at the end of the call. But these are three that can be very supportive. So I know you have already 
had quite a bit of experience with frankincense and know quite a bit about that one already. So I thought for today we could focus on learning a little bit more about clove essential oil and some of the benefits of clove. So clove is an excellent antioxidant and an excellent essential oil for supporting cardiovascular health. It also supports a healthy immune function. So I want to share with you just a little bit more before we go on to the next body system. So clove is, has the following properties. It's analgesic, it's anti-aging, it's antibacterial, it's anti-convulsant, anti-coagulant, anti-fungal, anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. It's anti-parasitic. It has strong, it's a strong antiseptic. It's anti-tumoral, it's antiviral, it's a disinfectant, and it's an immune stimulant. Um, historically, clove has been has proven really effective with issues related to the gums and tooth issues. Um, it's been great for anti-infectious um, issues of the mouth, like mouth sores. It's been great for healing digestive issues, um, it, along with reducing bad breath. It's helped with bronchitis. It's also very effective when you're recovering from addictions. So those who um, are overcoming things like smoking or sugar addictions or caffeine addictions or other oral addictions um, oftentimes use clove, like a little bit on the tip of the tongue or inhaled um, to help support that recovery. Um, one of my favorite uses of clove personally is as a drawing salve. So if you salve, if you look in the Modern Essentials book or in most reference books, it'll say that clove is a drawing salve. And what that means is it helps to pull infection from tissues. So I've had um, experiences where we've used it to help even get out things like splinters that are under the skin. I had a friend who was dealing, her little boy had a splinter. They'd actually been to the doctor and tried to have the doctor try to dig it out and it wasn't coming out or they thought that the doctor had got it and it was still painful. And she just used clove on it and it helped to um, draw that splinter out of his foot. So any type of um, tooth pain, I've also used it a lot for gum issues or abscesses in the mouth. Um, clove can also improve mental clarity and memory. It helps fill a sense, it helps us to feel um, more courage, um, a better sense of well-being. Um, it may encourage sleep, and it also may stimulate vivid dreams. So if you're having vivid dreams, it might be related to the use of clove. Clove is a mental, emotional, and subtle energy tonic. Um, Let's see, what else do I want to share with you about clove? So up here it says excellent antioxidant support, right? So one of the um, things that essential oils are amazing with is eliminating free radicals within our body. And one of the reasons why I encourage people to use oils every day in their life is to keep the possible cancer-creating debris at very low levels. And that's what free radicals are, right? Um, so clove has a very high rating on the ORAC scale and the ORAC, O-R-A-C, stands for oxygen radical absorption capacity. And there's a scale and the higher the ORAC score, the more capable that particular food or oil or plant is for destroying free radicals. So therefore, that helps to slow the aging process, help to get rid of and clean up that debris, and also help to prevent, hopefully, things like cancers and other diseases from occurring due to oxidative stress. So um, clove has a very high score. It has a score of 10,786,875 on this ORAC scale. Compared to, I think one of the next highest oils is cinnamon at a little over 100,000. So clove scores very, very high on that scale. One recipe that I would share with you would be for um, neuropathy of the feet, long-term neuropathy of the feet. Again, remember we talked about clove being beneficial for the nervous system. Um, what you can try is three drops of clove, six drops of aromatouch blend, three drops of lemon, three drops of cypress, 
and apply that to the feet and ankles every three hours during the day. Um, put your socks on afterwards, drink lots of water, but that can be a, a great um, remedy for that. All right, ready for another clue. So mystery number two, this, you want to guess which body system we're talking about. This one circulates the flow of blood and liquids, transports nutrients and waste. I think you probably already guessed it. It is our circulatory system, which consists of our heart, arteries, vessels, blood, spleen, lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and so there's a few products, a few essential oils that can be very helpful, including cypress, grapefruit, and geranium. And again, like I mentioned already earlier, these are not the only three oils that can support the circulatory system, but we want to start out with a foundation and kind of ease into things here. So we're going to start with just cypress, grapefruit, and geranium. And the oil that I chose, I've chosen to highlight today is cypress, which is both energizing, it promotes healthy circulation, it supports um, localized blood flow, and um, soothes tight muscles. So a little bit more on that before I show that picture. <laughs> um, I want to share just a few more of the awesome benefits of cypress essential oil. A few of the specific ways that we have used or helped people to use cypress, um, the first has to do with coughing. Uh, spasmodic coughs, um, colds, flus, sore throats. There's studies that have explored Cyprus's effectiveness as, um, as an astringent to help with varicose veins, also with hemorrhoids, um, with tightening up the blood vessels. Uh, we've used oftentimes with um, you know post delivery for new moms. Cyprus is one of the oils to help with 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 hemorrhoids. Um, in fact, I have a couple recipes I'll share with you uh, regarding that. So there was a university in Japan that also studied Cypress foot baths to help counter excess sweating. So if you have, um, if you feel like you sweat more than normal, um, that might be something to look into. It helps to improve circulation. It helps to strengthen blood capillaries. It's anti-infectious. It's astringent. It's it's calming. It can be a deodorant, um, anti-spasmodic. It can discourage fluid retention, so helps to keep fluid moving. Um, it helps to create an atmosphere within the head to reduce plaque on the brain and the hearing nerves. And it's also one of those oils that um, is, can really be helpful in improving the circulatory system that can be really supporting and improve the quality of life for those who are dealing with diabetes and other lymphatic system issues, which I'm going to show you a picture in just a minute. A couple of other things it's been reported to help with is it helps with um, female monthly discomfort around the cycle, and it can also be helpful in decongesting the prostate. Um, it's also been used for bladder issues and overall just emotionally for mental energy, um, attentiveness, um, for irritability, for reducing drowsiness. So those are some of the benefits, and I do want to share a couple recipes, but first I want to share with you this photo. This is a friend of mine who is a uh, paraplegic, and he obviously has is in a wheelchair, as you can see from the picture, and he has poor circulation because of that, oftentimes, um, you know, banging his feet into cabinets or... Um, you know, because you don't have feeling, so you have, you know, damage to the skin. And the circulation, as you can see here, the, the foot that you see on the right in, is that dark purple color, which obviously shows that, you know, the circulation is poor. So what we did one day is we just wanted to compare. We used Aromatouch blend along with Cypress, with extra Cypress. Cypress is already in the Aromatouch blend. And we just massaged it into one foot to look at the comparison. And you can see here on your screen, just within a couple of minutes, how the skin color changed and how it's getting more blood flow into that area. 
Um, one of the things that reasons why I didn't include the emotional system in tonight's class is because every single oil, as you probably know, if you have the emotions and essential oils book, every single oil has a physical and an emotional support to it. And interestingly, when we talk about the flow and motion of the um, circulatory system, cypress is also the oil emotionally of motion and flow. It is used to help with the negative emotions of controlling fear, perfectionism, um, feeling rigid or stuck or tense, and helps to promote being flexible, trusting, flowing with life, being adaptable. Um, and so just a couple things in here that I think are fun to point out. Um, this again is from the book Emotions and Essential Oils, which I highly recommend you have. It says that Cypress teaches the soul how to let go of the past by moving with the flow of life. This oil is especially indicated for individuals who are mentally or emotionally stuck, stiff, rigid, tense, over-striving, or have perfectionistic tendencies. This hard driving stems from fear and the need to control. The individual tries to force things in life rather than allowing them to unfold naturally. So I love that. So a couple of just recipes that you might want to jot down, um, a gentle diuretic that you could use for uh, excess fluid in the legs and ankles would be five drops of cypress, five drops of Siberian fir, uh, five drops of grapefruit, three drops of patchouli, three drops of helichrysum, and put that into a base of fractionated coconut oil, probably about four teaspoons, and then um, apply that to the affected area. Another recipe is for nose, nosebleeds. I know a lot of people deal with that. Um, two drops of cypress, three drops of geranium, and two drops of lavender just applied directly to the area. Um, so those for cystitis, I know that's one thing that comes up quite a bit. So you can create a sitz bath for cystitis, and it may also help with um, leaky bladder. You can use quarter teaspoon of Epsom salts, two drops of cypress, one drop of bergamot, one drop of thyme, and three drops of melaleuca. And then you just add those oils to the Epsom salts and then apply those, uh, just sprinkle the salts into warm water, um, kind of a shallow amount of water, and then sit hip deep, th hip deep in the tub for about 15 minutes, once or twice a day until the symptoms improve. Um, with that, I would also encourage lots of water and um, probiotics, PB Assist would be great. And the last recipe I'll share with you right now is for hemorrhoids. Um, two drops of cypress and two drops of geranium. And of course you can dilute that with your carrier oil and apply to the area. I'll also, actually I'll give you one more, um, Charlie horses. For those who deal with Charlie horses, try two drops of cypress and two drops of lemongrass and dilute that as necessary with the carrier oil and apply that to the area. All right, let's move forward to the next body system. And your clues for this one are that it supplies the blood with oxygen, removes carbon dioxide from the body. Any guesses on what that might be? It is the respiratory system. So it encompasses the lungs, the airways, the diaphragm, and some of the oils that would be beneficial for this. You already know and love Breathe Blend. That's the one we kind of all tend to um, gravitate to because that's one of our first oils we've used if we started with a family physician, family essentials kit or the family uh, wellness kit. Um, but there's also some other great oils in there as well. So Breathe blend maintains feelings of clear airways it helps to minimize the effects of seasonal threats and it can help to promote a restful night's sleep but more than that i want to share just a few more things with you of some of the other benefits of this blend as we turn to the modern essentials book we can look through the quick facts on breathe and see that this blend has been studied for its ability to be able to open um, and soothe the tissues of the respiratory system, and also for its ability to fight airborne bacteria and viruses that can be um, harmful to that system. And so some of the primary uses for breathe are as an antiviral, um, and for anxiety, for asthma, bronchitis, so any kind of cough issues related to the respiratory system, it can help to support things. It can even help to support conditions that, while may not have a cure, can help to make um, 
things more comfortable, like things like uh, emphysema. Um, it can also help with with flus, with uh, mono, um, snoring, nasal polyps, uh, sinusitis, things like that. So the way that you can apply it and use it is to use it directly to the chest or the back or the bottoms of the feet to the reflex points. Um, for kids, make sure you're diluting it. Or if you have sensitive skin, make sure you're diluting it. Children, um, you know, don't put it directly up the nose. You know, we never put the oils directly up the nose, but we can apply them to the chest or to the throat area or to the spine. Generally with my kids, I usually use the spine. So just interestingly, my son, after week one of school, came home with a little bit of a cough I noticed on Saturday and I heard him barking from the other room and I said, get in here quick. We had to stop that before it gets um, crazy. And so I did a couple of spinal treatments on him where I just applied the essential oils like Breathe and Arbor Vitae and Frankincense. And, you know, those oils that we know are supportive of the respiratory system, just applying them to his spine and the bottoms of his feet. And um, I think we either caught it earlier. It was just not a big deal. But at once... I think we did that a couple times on Saturday and there was nothing, there was no coughing any further after that, no coughing since. So this particular blend has several single oils in it. That's what makes it a blend. It has laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, melaleuca, lemon, ravensera, and cardamom. And, um, you know, it can, it's great in the diffuser. It's great topically. It's definitely one of our staples in our house. So as we look at the emotional side of the Breathe Respiratory Blend, um, it's interesting that it helps to with the negative emotions of sadness, grief, despair, feeling unloved, difficulty breathing, constriction, or distrust. Um, it helps to promote a feeling of just being courageous to be fully open and loved and cared for and receiving. Um, I love what it says here at the beginning where it says that Breathe helps to address the inability to let go of grief and pain. And the individual in need of this oil sometimes struggles to breathe and literally feels suffocated by sadness. Um, so the lungs and the air passages become constricted, preventing air and emotion from releasing. So anytime we feel stressed or anxious, this is also a great blend to use, um, not just for the physical side of 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 suffocating but the emotional side of suffocating as well all right um, here are a few recipes for breathe blend uh, one of our favorites on there is the snoring blend where we take three drops of breathe and three drops of um, and a drop of cypress and put it to the bottoms of the feet especially the big toe and then rub the leftovers into the chest and um, if your husband snores like mine, you might love that one. There's also another snoring blend on here. But the one I use there on the bottom with the breathe and the cypress is my favorite personally. Um, so you'll get, a, you'll get a, um, an option to download these recipes at the end as well. I'll give you a link to be able to download that. But I'll just point out another one here, which is the chest rub. And if you're used to using things like Vicks right, Vapor Rub, you know that a lot of those products have petroleum in them and, um, and that there's a better natural alternative. So what you can do is take some coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, and beeswax and melt that in a double broiler. Bring that off the heat and then add in your respiratory blend. Or you, know, you can just add just breathe or there's a recipe here that has all the oils that are in breathe as well. Um, you can add in frankincense and you can add in, you know, uh, all of these oils that are on this recipe are actually in breathe. So I would just do breathe and, and frankincense and add that to it and use that throughout the winter as my homemade natural um, chest rub. All right, let's move on to the next body system. This body system breaks down food into usable form and excretes excess food and waste from the body. It produces, stores, and releases digestive chemicals and enzymes. And you guessed it, it is the digestive system, which includes the stomach, the small and large intestines, the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas. And so some of the products, um, interestingly here, are not all oil suggestions. Um, we have PB Assist, Terrazyme, and Digest Zen as potential supporting products. Um, you guys are familiar with Digest Zen. 
And some of you may or may not be familiar with PB assist and Terrazyme, but I would say, I mean, with all the digestive issues that people are dealing with, I would highly, highly recommend that Terrazyme be part of everyone's um, regimen. And especially if you're dealing with anything related to digestive upset or even skin issues, Terrazyme should be something we use every day. And PB Assist as needed for probiotics, also super helpful. But let's chat about Digestin for a minute. Um, it's going to aid in maintaining a healthy digestive tract and it's going to help with, you know, that occasional stomach discomfort like bloating and gas and indigestion and things like that. So let's dig in a little deeper and maybe talk about some of the ways that we can support our digestive system. So the single oils that are in this blend are ginger, um, which has a warming and uplifting and empowering um, emotional side to it. Uh, it also helps with um, calming the digestive system and it helps with nausea and motion sickness. I know I personally deal with a lot of motion sickness and ginger has been one of ginger and digest and both have been the, my favorite oils when it comes to that. Um, this blend also has peppermint in there, which can be beneficial to help counteract things like food poisoning, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, flatulence, um, nausea, also motion sickness. It has tarragon, which helps with a um, nervous and sluggish digestive system. It helps with intestinal spasms as well as um, flatulence. It also contains fennel, which helps to not only balance hormones, but helps to support the liver. And then caraway, which helps with indigestion, gas, and colic. And then it has coriander and coriander helps with indigestion, other spasms of the digestive tract. And then lastly, anise, which helps to calm and strengthen the digestive system. So as you can see, it's full of these um, single oils that are all lined up specifically to help and support the digestive system for all sorts of issues from, you know, heartburn to nausea to constipation to bloating and so on. So a few, um, the, it, well, let's move on. Let's talk about the emotions. So of course, again, every oil has this uh, emotional component to it. And this is the oil of digestion and helps with, um, I'm just going to share a little bit. It has a powerful emotional quality for supporting individuals who lack interest in life and in the physical world. The individual may have a tendency to take on too much at once. This overload of information and stimulation can lead to an emotional form of indigestion where the individual cannot break down life experiences into palatal forms. So it's going to help, um, help the body and spirit to assimilate new information, new events. It increases the ability to receive new information, new relationships, new experiences, and to be open to possibilities. So interesting, isn't it? How the physical and the emotional seem so intertwined, but they really are. A few recipes for supporting the digestive system. Um, we've got recipes on here that you can get from diarrhea to gut immunity to um, nausea, which again, my favorites, ginger, peppermint, digestion, digest and just rub under the nose or apply to a handkerchief and breathe it. Um, traveler's tummy, if you get upset stomach when you're traveling, try three to four drops of digestin in a capsule or in water three times a day. Um, you can also put it under the tongue as needed. For IBS support, use three drops of frankincense, two drops of peppermint, two drops of fennel, two drops of ginger, and put that in a capsule and take that with meals and make sure you add the probiotics as well. So again, you can download this, the rest of those recipes at the end of our call. All right, mystery number five, which body system do you think this is? It's the framework that supports and protects all the other parts and tissues. Yes, you're already guessing it, I know. Um, it gives body the body its shape and form. It's also a reservoir for minerals and a place of blood cell production. So, yep, it is the skeletal system, which includes bones, muscles, connective tissues, and the suggested products and oils would be deep blue, 
helichrysum and the bone nutrient complex, which I want to take a few minutes to discuss. Um, the bone nutrient co complex is something I think we don't often talk enough about, and it really does provide optimum levels of vitamins and minerals essential for developing and maintaining healthy bone mass and density. I have a lot of people that'll say, you know, is there enough calcium? I need more calcium. What can I take? And they don't necessarily realize they can, this is, this is what you want to be taking for healthy bones. Um, you get 100% of the daily recommended amount of calcium and magnesium, and it can also contains D2 and D3. So, um, I think we'll move on because we're running a little bit low on time. Um, in addition to that, some other muscular and muscular and skeletal support, um, recipes that you can download at the end of the call. Um, we've got some connective tissue support, general muscular skeletal support. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something in here specifically to point out. Probably the bone support, which would be seven drops of frankincense, six drops of white fur, two drops of wintergreen, 11 drops of helichrysum, and four drops of lemongrass. And put that in a roller bottle and top it off with carrier oil. And um, make sure you combine with that the bone nutrient complex that we just briefly talked about. All right, let's talk about the next body system, which is is the body system that eliminates toxins and waste from the body. It gets rid of excess water. It is the excretory system. So your skin, your kidneys, your bladder all do that. And so some of the products to support these parts of um, the system of the body would be juniper berry, lemongrass, and again, cypress, which we touched on a little bit already earlier. But juniper berry is a great one that a lot of people aren't too familiar with that I want to spend a moment talking about. It helps to support healthy kidney and urinary function. So if you're someone who deals with a lot of urinary issues, kidney issues, this is definitely um, your friend. So it acts as a natural cleansing and detoxifying agent. I want to touch on a few more um, highlights here on juniper berry. So one thing I love about juniper berry is that it's this oil that helps us to purge worry and self-absorption that's um, really rooted in a fear of failure. And it helps to restore our kind of like our resolve or our determination to overcome obstacles, life challenges that we might have. It helps to replace... Um, isolation with more movement and openness. It is an oil that we think of mostly for its benefits for the kidneys and urinary tract, but also helps with anxiety, helps with um, immune system, helps with colds and coughs and ear, and ear issues. Um, it's an expectorant. It helps those who are dealing um, with gout to get rid of excess um, uric acid. Some people use it for hangover relief. Um, it helps with lymphatic congestion. It's, um, it helps with skin issues. You can spray it on things like shingles with along with Melissa and Melaleuca and spray that on. So it really does extend to multiple body systems and well beyond this system, the excret excretory system that we're talking about. Um, this is one, if you have kids that have bad dreams, this is one that you can diffuse to inspire good dreams and lighter spirits and to clean out emotional blockages. So a couple of um, ways that we've used it is for fear of flying. For those who deal with fear of flying, apply it to the bones behind the ear along the eustachian tubes to provide more comfort while flying. Um, we've used it to relieve obsession um, applying it uh, with cypress to help break patterns that we no longer need. Um, we've used it for bladder issues, and, by, and to do that, we've used four drops of juniper berry, two drops of oregano, three drops of melaleuca, two drops of sandalwood, and putting that in about a tablespoon of coconut oil and applying that over the bladder area two to three times a day. Again, drink lots of water, no sugar um, or alcohol when you're dealing with, um, with like bladder infections. Um, you know, if a course, like we've talked about in past classes, if, if something is persisting and you're not getting results and you're not getting, um, you know, you're, you're not getting, finding success, you know, usually we, we need to try something different, try something more frequently. And at some point recognize that it's okay to go seek medical professional, a medical, um, professional's advice as well, if we need to. 
Uh, for bladder maintenance, you can use juniper berry, cedar wood, sandalwood, grapefruit, and um, like a ratio of like four juniper berry, two cedar wood, two sandalwood, three grapefruit in a uh, teaspoon of coconut oil, and apply that over the bladder nightly after you've, you know, kind of like as an ongoing support after you've kind of gotten through the infection or whatever's going on. Um, we've also used it with, um, in conjunction with cypress for cellulite. So we've done it with six drops of juniper berry, nine drops of grapefruit, eight drops of cypress, seven drops of geranium, five drops of fennel, and put that into coconut oil and apply that two to three times a day to the affected areas. So I know I said that fast, so I'll say it real quick again. Six drops juniper berry, nine drops, nine drops of grapefruit, eight of eight drops of cypress, seven drops of geranium, five drops of fennel with your carrier oil. All right, let's move on um, to discussing the next body system, which is the one that acts as chemical messengers, maintains metabolism, aids in pain management, and it is the glandular, glandular system, which consists of the hormones, adrenals, the thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pituitary, penile, ovaries, and testes. So the oils and products that we uh, recommend, some of, some of them, some of the primary ones would be clary sage, myrrh, and the phytoestrogen complex, which um, I'm going to touch on briefly here. And then we'll probably have a separate class just on this product alone because it is so complex, but it is an amazing product to help balance and support normal hormone levels. It supports women throughout their entire menstrual cycle, um, throughout from, from early, uh, you know, when they're first starting their cycle to, you know, post-menopausal throughout the woman's uh, life, it helps to diminish normal symptoms of menopause. So it helps with, um, if you're dealing with a lot of menopausal type symptoms, this would be a, definitely a product to consider adding along with Clary Calm with some peppermint oil. So one of the probably number one questions that I get asked is what can I do for my thyroid? A lot of people are dealing with thyroid issues and looking for thyroid support. So one of my favorite recipes for thyroid, and I'll just share this one and then we're going to start wrapping up, but um, thyroid, first of all, would be to support internally with the DDR prime. And, um, you've probably seen in our Facebook group, we've had people have complete remission of thyroid nodules just from using DDR prime. Um, so that would be an internal support that I would highly recommend. Additionally, I would make a roller bottle with equal parts of clove, myrrh, frankincense, lemongrass, and basil. And, um, I've done it as much as 30 drops. I think that's a little excessive. I think you can probably do half that, maybe 15 drops of each in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, and then top that off with carrier oil. You can apply that to the bottoms of the feet and directly gently over the thyroid area. If your skin becomes irritated, it's probably from the lemongrass. It's pretty hot oil. So you can cut that back. You can, or you can remove the lemongrass or use less lemongrass. Um, and you just, or just use the other oils. You can also layer these same oils directly, but the roller bottle is very convenient. Um, and then for women's support, again, you can download this, but, um, a few things for, let's say libido would be sandalwood, rose, or a lang -lang, um, would be a, some great options for that. Um, the whisper women's blend is one that I also love for kind of setting the mood or, or just wearing either or using in the diffuser, um, prostate support, use the DDR blend in a capsule daily and also to the bottoms of the feet. Um, there's some recipes on here for varicose veins, for, um, slowing down our cycle. So there you have it. Mystery solved. <laughs> our body is complex when we look at it as a whole, but like I said earlier, it really can be simple to find solutions as we break it down and it can be really easy and, um, 
and we can quickly find solutions to a better health when we start to look at things sort of case, you know, system by system. As we learn a little bit more about how each body system works and what essential oils um, or products can help to support and build on those systems, then we can really be more effective in the way that we use essential oils and the way that we take care of our health. So there we go. Mystery solved. Um, earlier I mentioned several times different recipes and also the body systems cheat sheet. So take a screenshot right now or jot these down. Please note that these links are case sensitive and note that there are no capitals. Everything is lowercase. So the first one is the ebook is my ebook, which has a lot of the recipes that we talked about tonight. And that is bit.ly forward slash 101 essential tips. The second one is the body systems cheat sheet, which is at bit.ly forward slash body systems cheat sheet. Notice that the systems is plural. I think we had some issues with people being able to download that last time um, we taught this class. So just note that that is plural. So again, 101 essential tips or the body systems cheat sheet. All right, you guys, so we're going to wrap up for tonight. Um, if you are not participating in the loyalty rewards program, you may be missing out on an additional 30% back in free product credits on all of your purchases. So make sure that you are using this program to make any purchases that you're making to, um, to, to restock your oils or to try new products so that you can be maximizing the savings that you get from doTERRA. And again, if you are interested in learning about how you can get your oils paid for, earn enough each month to maybe you know, anywhere from making a couple hundred dollars a month and getting free product, or whether you're interested in learning how to do a sup create a supplemental or even a full-time income, make sure you reach out to me. I love what I do. I love that I get to empower people with tools that really get to change their life and change their health. And I never thought that I would actually do what I'm doing, but um, I've been doing it now for eight years and I absolutely love being able to help other people and making a difference in the world. And if this is something that like you've thought about maybe creating a, a some kind of a business around healthcare, definitely reach out to the person who invited you to this class and or who enrolled you and they can show you how to get started. Again, our next class is going to be an introduction to the AromaTouch technique, which is what we use as a um, a technique to be able to balance all of the body systems that we talked about tonight. And, um, and then the classes beyond that, um, are the essential science class, which is my next favorite class to teach. So thank you again so much for being here. It was an honor to, um, share some of this with you tonight. If you have any questions, go ahead and post in the comments and, um, and we'll see you guys next week for the introduction to aroma touch technique. You guys have an amazing, amazing week. Take care.